The next strategy would be if you are looking really to optimize muscle mass. And to me, to optimize muscle mass, you want to push the higher protein lever. And that would be 40 to 50, 55 grams in discrete meals. And that could be three to four meals a day. That would be a great strategy. If you are looking to just maintain, you could easily do two very robust protein meals, 55 grams or 50 grams with a smaller snack in between. And I don't really care about that protein intake as long as you're eating, you're meeting your 24 hour need. So those are a few strategies that anyone could do tomorrow. And I don't think that the one meal a day is a great strategy. We know that from the data. And again, this is a lot of data from Dr. Lehman's lab. He would also recommend that one meal a day would not likely be optimal for body composition. Besides, why would you, why would an individual uh, want to do that with the option of being able to perhaps utilize a different strategy, like at least one more meal? You cannot build muscle without exercise. I typically recommend at least three to four days a week of resistance exercise. You know, having a well-designed program is absolutely essential. You're not going to build muscle by sitting on the, the couch eating protein. That just doesn't happen. You need mechanical tension. You need some kind of metabolic stress. Of course, when you're young, and you're relatively untrained, you'll put on muscle much quicker. You have a, a more robust hormonal milieu. Uh, the other aspect of training, which I haven't had the opportunity to talk about is cardiovascular activity. I, I think that that is very valuable, not just high intensity interval training, but that zone to slower cardio training is very important for mitochondrial function. Ideally, 150 minutes of moderate to vigorous intensity exercise is important. You know, zone two is not necessarily intense. It's a great place to start. And then at least one day a week, but doing that really max effort once a week is important. I do train legs three days a week and I do train legs heavy three days a week. I am relatively lean as an individual because I've trained my whole life. So I really focus on working on that lower body strength. And it's a lot of squats, a lot of uh, compound movements. And I go through cycles. You know, I've, I've used kettlebells and, and trained with kettlebells and one to two days just to maintain upper body strength of upper body, some kind of lift. And then typically... I will be adding in another high intensity interval training day and a couple more cardiovascular days. Yeah, uh, no particular reason other than, um, you know, I'm, my upper body strength is good. I really would love to increase lower body strength and musculature. Annotated and summarized easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points.